this is Pastor Ben Lim, and I want to talk to you about three levels of prophets. Did you know that there are third heaven prophets? Did you know that there are second heaven prophets? And there are also first heaven prophets. I'm sure you have heard this terminology before, but I want to tell you that there are three different levels of prophets. And we can find this reference in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 2 to 4. The Apostle Paul says, I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. That's right, third heaven. Does that mean there's three heavens? We're going to get into that right now. He was caught up to the third heaven, whether in the body or out of the body. I don't know. But God knows. And I know that this man was caught up into paradise. Now, is that different from the third heaven, or is that the same? Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. But God knows, and he heard things that cannot be told, which man may not utter. So from this verse, we can see that there's a, such a thing as the third heavens. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians that we are now seated with Christ in heavenly places. I believe the third heavens is where God's heaven is, the throne room of God. It's literally God's abode. It is his home. The second heavens is where the warfare of the supernatural takes place. All of the warfare in the spirit between angels and demons, principalities and powers. The second heavens is a realm that is caught in between the third heavens of perfection, of God's throne, the very place where God himself is seated. There's no sin, no sickness, no death. It's the realm of glory, the realm of eternity. And you and I are seated in heavenly places, not just when we die, but because we have died with Christ, we are already there seated in heavenly places. So there's the third heavens of perfection. There's the second heavens of warfare. Many people go through spiritual warfare. In fact, they continuously stay stuck in patterns of warfare rather than breaking through and overcoming. Have you ever met a person, maybe yourself, you've experienced feeling stuck in the second heavens? Constant warfare. Pray for me, Pastor Ben. I'm in warfare. I'm experiencing excruciating warfare. But don't you know that Jesus already won the battle? And don't you know that the cross and the blood speaks a greater word? And so therefore we can stay seated with him, untouched, unscathed. So there's third heavens and there's the second heaven. The first heavens is what we see in the universe. It is what we see on planet Earth, the stars, the sun, the moon. It's what we see in the sky. That is the first heaven. So there's three levels of heavenly places. There's three heavens. And the third heavens is the eternal heavens. The second heavens is the warfare. Is the realm of principalities at work. The spiritual realm. And the first heavens is what we can see with our natural eyes. I said in the beginning that there's three levels of prophets. There's prophets that operate from the third heavens. There's prophets that operate from the second heavens. And there's prophets that operate from the first heavens. Now, you may not have heard a teaching like this before, but that's why I want to teach you and I want to share with you the differences of these three prophets. Now hear me now. They can be prophetic and they may still be a prophet. You may be a prophet. You may be a prophetic person. But out of what heavenly realm are you operating from? Unfortunately, too many people operate from the first heavens. What does that mean? What your eyes can see, the natural realm. They operate from the first heavens, which means that they live from the news, CNN, fake news, and they live by conspiracy theories. People who are in the first heavens operate 
with the knowledge of man and the sciences of man. You may be a prophet, you may be a prophetic person, but you are called to live above and higher. His ways are higher, his thoughts are higher. You and I are called to live higher from just the first heavens of human intel and human information, knowledge. Unfortunately, too many people prophesy or release things from the earthly, soulish, carnal realm. Let me tell you, it will not bear fruit if you prophesy or if you move and minister from an earthly level. If you move from a soul level, all you will bear fruit in is nothing. Some people are prophets who prophesy from the first heavens. All that their eyes can see, that's it, the natural. Some people operate from the second heavens. Now, let me tell you this. The spiritual battle is real. You can see it in the book of Ephesians. You can see it uh, in Corinthians. The spiritual battle is absolutely real. You can see it all throughout the book of Acts. In fact, all throughout the Bible, it talks about witches, talks about sorcerers, divination. It talks about witch doctors, necromancy, worshiping the dead. It talks about black magic. So all throughout the Bible, it makes reference to spiritual, unusual activity and warfare. But prophets who tend to have warfare in their DNA, or meaning they do warfare. They do warfare. They live in the second heavens rather than the third. It doesn't mean that we should not confront the evil. We should not speak against the evil things. No, no. But too many people live in the second heavens. They always have warfare. They say, Pastor Ben, pray for me. Prophet Ben, can you pray for me? No, why should I pray for you? It's your fault. You're operating from the second heavens. Too many people are operating from the spiritual warfare zone, not the glory zone. And they operate in the second heavens because they're not going through the only door of Jesus Christ. The Bible says there is no other medium. There is no other channel. There is no other door. Jesus is the only door to the Father. You will have no, there is no other way to him but through me, says the Lord Jesus, our God. So too many people are second heaven prophets. What does that mean? That means they pick up things in the spirit, and that doesn't mean the Holy Spirit. They pick up things in the spiritual realms, and they move and prophesy from spiritual activity, witchcraft, warfare, sorcery, black magic. And they move and minister from the confusion and the chaos and the plethora of the pandemonium of the second heavens. These types of prophets are never stable. These types of prophets are always in warfare. In fact, they always look like they're in war. They always look grumpy, angry. They don't look happy. They look like they're possessed by demons because they're always battling demons. They look like they're going through something again. The warfare is real. But let me tell you, the glory is real. The struggle is real. But let me tell you, his victory is even more real. Second heaven prophets tend to stay stuck in the second level because... They don't know how to break through by the revelation of it's already finished. Second heaven prophets can have a glimpse or an understanding or have uh, signs and glimpses of certain things, but they do not have the full picture because they're still in the second heavens. Now, if you are a third heaven prophet, which I'm believing you are and you will be, it means you have the heart of God. If you live in the third heavens, the throne room of God, that means you're seated with Him in heavenly places. That means you're ruling and reigning above all dominions and powers. That means you're with Him above, and you look down towards all. So because you are seated with Him 
upon the throne of grace, the mercy seat, you are able to carry his heart and his will through the second heavens, through the first heavens, onto planet earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Which heaven, you may ask? The third heavens, the highest of heavens, the abode of God's glory, the place where he dwells in, the throne of God. You see, the third heavens is a realm where there's perfection, no sin, no sickness, no confusion, utmost revelation, fullness. There's full clarity. And people who love Jesus, they dwell in the third heavens. And they operate from that realm of the finished work and of perfection and of the fullness of God. When you are a third heaven prophet, you carry his heart. You carry his will. You carry his mind from the eternal realm of heaven. Now let me ask you this. Are you a third heaven prophet? Are you a second heaven prophet? Or are you a first heaven prophet? You may have knowledge, but it may just be the knowledge of man. You may have power and experiences, but that just may be the second heavens. But you may have love, and you may have character and goodness, and that's the third heavens. What heaven are you operating out of? People of God. There's many types of prophets, but there's three levels of mature prophets. There's three levels of maturity. And I pray that you will be a third heaven prophet. The Apostle Paul says, Whether you was in the body or out, I do know not. But he heard things that cannot be told. Get ready to see what you have not yet seen. Get ready to hear what you have not yet heard. God is wanting you to ascend and to be with him and to live from that realm. God bless you. This is Pastor Ben Lemier. I pray that this teaching today blessed you. Comment below what spoke to you the most. And I pray that you will be a third heaven prophet.